In 2016, a ministerial meeting was held here in Vienna that led to the Kigali Amendment. It's my honor that UNIDO and Cameroon had the first project approved in 2023. The Kigali Implementation Plan is a continuation of the efforts of the Montreal Protocol to reduce the use of gases that are harmful to the atmosphere, whether to the ozone layer or the climate. The requirement of the Kigali Amendment is that countries reduce the consumption of these gases by 80% until 2045. And there has to be a plan on how to do that. There is a lot of uh, progress taking place in the, in the context of the multilateral fund, and we expect that countries are going to be able to, to start now implementing the Kigali Amendment uh, in full. And the plan goes in several stages. In the case of Cameroon, it's three stages. What we have done is to prepare stage one of the KIP. And stage one of the KIP includes activities about capacity building, about reducing, about managing refrigerants, and about also uh, regulation, putting the right regulation in place. Cameroon was ready to do it before any of the other uh, countries because they had the information, they had also the willingness of the National Ozone Unit, or NOU, uh, to do this particular work. We're also looking at uh, management of refrigerants. We have uh, national issues like safety, security, and energy efficiency issues. We also address gender issues as well in our plan. I think uh, our plan seems to be stretched out in about for eight uh, key activity areas. They did have also the courage to present something even before there were uh, guidelines on what to present in that particular strategy. So they were pioneers, there was a lot of innovation, there was a lot of flexibility on their part to accept certain uh, ways and certain conditions. At the end it was successful and it was uh, approved at the 92nd meeting of the uh, XCOM in Montreal uh, back in June. UNIDOS Montreal Protocol Division has been actively involved in helping country prepare their Kigali implementation plans. So far, UNIDO has submitted such plans for 10 additional countries to the multilateral fund for approval. UNIDO with its work, it's at the forefront of climate action. Our motto is progress by innovation.